do you think Previous that you are slay. acting consistently when you pay for eggs? I just eat sometimes. You eat eggs and... sometimes. Even when you even when you, whenever you eat eggs, even just a little bit, you're supporting what what I just showed you. Because whether you eat it a little bit or a lot, animals are still being tortured and killed for eggs. I believe that nobody should be killed. You believe nobody should be killed? No, no. Okay. Including animals, because they've got they've got soul in them and they've got they they're voiceless. I mean like we can't understand their language, but Mm, that's we very interesting. That we, we can feel that they they get hurt, right? <laughs> no, how co do you think that the animals need people like us to speak up for them? Since they don't have a voice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so how, t so if you was in the animal's position, would you want more people speaking up for you? Well, you trying to turn me vegan? <laughs> oh, I hope so. Uh, well, I don't think it's gonna happen because I love you so much. Hello? Hey, man. Alright, alright, alright. How are you? Uh, fine. What about you? Pardon? What about you? How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. I'm good, thanks. Do you want to know why I'm here? Yeah. Sorry? Do you, would you like to know why I'm here? Uh, I don't know. Are you single? I'm a single? No, no single, I'm a single. single. No. Yeah. No, I'm here to find out how people feel about animal abuse. Animal abuse? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, are you like a reporter or something like that? Or what's the uh, profession? I'm, I'm, I'm an activist. Do you, do you, are you for or against animal cruelty? Okay. So, like, you write uh, articles? No, I, I, I'm, I, I'm here to show people the behind the scenes of industries that abuse animals. But first of all, I want to know if you are against animal cruelty. No, like, animal cruelty, like, I'm a pure vegetarian. Uh, since I saw, like, slaughtering of these goats and rest of the animals, uh, yeah. I felt like... I, are, you yeah, a, I felt... are you a vegan? Yeah. No. You're not a vegan. So do you no. eat dairy, no. eggs, or honey? No. No, not eggs. Only honey and milk. Okay. Do you want me to show you what happens in the dairy industry? Uh, like, I don't have that much idea about dairy industry, but uh, no, I'm totally against it. I'm totally against it. Let's see, I'm from India, and uh, in India, we, like, worship cows and... You might be knowing about that. Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard about that. Have you seen a documentary? Documentary about a what? documentary called Unholy Cattle. Unholy Cattle. Okay, no, no. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I haven't seen it. Okay, so it teaches you about what happens in the Indian dairy industry. Uh, it's like they uh, put more more uh, those hormones for more production and when they grow old they let them in the roads like uh wait pardon no like uh, they put more pressure on the cows and the rest of them for more product like uh, milk and the rest of them and when they grow old they leave them in on the roads uh, or sell them in the slaughterhouse yeah they do send them to the slaughterhouse okay this is yeah, a man. This is a documentary called Unholy Cattle. Okay. Okay, uh, let me just um, uh, send it to ya. That's one sec. Do you have some page like in Instagram or? Pardon? Do you have a page on Instagram or like? Oh yeah, I've got I've got a YouTube channel. Okay, YouTube I, channel. I... Okay. Will you please send the link? Okay. Uh, okay. No. Want... Let me know your name of the channel because I won't get the link over here. Okay. It says KDA. No. 
Andy, okay. okay I'll um, silly follow you. I'll, I'll silly follow you, okay? Okay. Okay, but do you want me to show you what happens in the dairy industry when... I, when um, Because males don't produce milk for the dairy industry. Yeah. Yeah, they... Like, they... They mostly use the uh, superior males for their semen collection. Although there are farms who use a bull in the pen for breeding, it is not as reliable as the most common form of breeding which is euphemistically known as the AI method, artificial insemination. This process is essentially the sexual violation of male and female animals in order to produce calves to make up the dairy herd. Some farmers do it because it just does not make financial sense for them to go out and spend thousands of dollars. They just don't want the problems that some of the bulls cause. Some bulls are very hot, meaning tempered. They're very aggressive. If they can get more cows bred in like the first 21 days of the month, the cow cycle, they're gonna have more calves hit the ground, which actually brings better money. The advantage of AI is the selection of high quality sperm for breeding purposes. Semen quality is considered best when the bulls are under three years of age, prior to them reaching maturity. Sperm is extracted from stud bulls either via the use of an artificial vagina or more commonly, via electro-ejaculation with a rectal probe. As we load them into the alleyway, get them caught in the head catch, first thing we like to do is do a scrotal circumference measure. Um, there are parameters set out for minimums on those young bulls, and obviously they have to pass those. We also palpate the testicles, epididymis, make sure that everything palpates normally. And then we go ahead and do a rectal evaluation of the internal genitalia. He's a big filler. So we can reach over the brim of the pelvis, palpate both internal inguinal rings, make sure that there's not more than a finger or two width in either one. This probe is uh, inserted into the rectum and it's got some very targeted weak electrical current that's targeted directly onto the accessory sex glands, which I just palpated, and some of the surrounding uh, musculature. That weak electrical stimulation then uh, causes him to have an erection and an ejaculation. And you will probably see the bull react to the first pulse. You can see the bull. This probe is inserted into the anus of the restrained male animal, where it sends in an electrical current forcing the bull to ejaculate. This is a highly intrusive procedure and highlights the perversity of dairy industry practices. Uh, you can see that he's reacting more so and he is putting out quite a lot of prostate fluid and there we had uh, an, a full ejaculate of uh, a good, what appears to be grossly a good uh, sperm sample. And then uh Surrogate mothers, surrogate mothers. What what mothers? Surrogate. Uh, uh, Those to, carry... to insemi inseminate. Yeah, 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 inseminate. When a cow or female buffalo comes of age, it is made pregnant so that it can subsequently produce milk after its calf is born. The majority of the breeding takes place today by means of artificial insemination. This cruel method involves forcibly impregnating a cow by unnatural means. The cow is first restrained and then a human shoves his bare hands into the anal opening of the cow and with the other hand he penetrates the vagina with the rod carrying the bull semen to be deposited deep down all the way into the uterus. As per the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare data, artificial insemination was given to 704 lakh animals out of 1,305 lakh breedable population in 2015-16. Artificial insemination is a rape just because it is done to a non-human animal who can't fight back and has no legal protection in this matter, it has not become less of a barbaric act. Within two months of giving birth, a cow is attempted to be made pregnant again so that it can give birth to a calf nine months later. Through this practice, the female cattle can be kept in a state of near- Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna show you what happens to- Do you want me to show you what happens in the side of a slaughterhouse? house? 
The male calves, called bobby calves, are considered useless to the dairy industry because they'll never be able to produce milk. They are kept isolated for five days before being herded onto a truck and sent to the slaughterhouse. They can be withheld food for the last 30 hours of their lives. Starved, confused, and desperate for affection, they cry for their mothers from the holding pens of the slaughterhouse, where they'll be killed the following morning. Those who avoid the stunner or who are improperly stunned are killed while conscious. Around 700,000 male calves are slaughtered as waste products of the dairy industry every year in Australia alone. A small number of male calves are grown out for longer, up to 20 weeks, to be slaughtered for veal. No, uh, I have seen most of them and I don't want the same. Okay, okay, okay. But, but do you think that, that what happened in those slaughterhouses was cruel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you think is responsible for what happens in the slaughterhouses? See, like, uh, like it is the choice of the people. People uh, want to feed those uh, products, like then. Uh... Pardon? No, it's it's the choice of the people. Mostly because they want to feed their products. Yeah, exactly. So, um, it's it's called supply and demand. So when when we demand certain products the industries supply those products right so yeah yeah if yeah, you yeah, buy yeah dairy they're going to supply dairy rape the cows it, murder the cows do everything that happens in the dairy industry but if you yeah, put your totally, money towards plant-based it alternatives totally, it totally depends upon the mindset of the people mm -hmm. if they yeah. would understand yeah yeah, okay. yeah if they would understand if they would understand that uh, uh if they would see that there is a life in every each and every animal, then this would certainly reduce. Pardon? No, if they will see that there is there a life exists in every animal, then mm -hmm. this would certainly reduce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you think that it can be truly against animal abuse if you're still paying for these industries to exist? Uh, uh, ha, um, I don't have that much idea about it. Okay, okay, okay. So, you're paying for... So, you said that you're against what happens in a slaughterhouse where animals get yeah. tortured and killed. But yeah, when yeah. you buy dairy, you're paying for animals to get tortured and killed. Do you think that means that you're... Does that mean that you're... Do you think that makes you a hypocrite? Um, let's see. Those byproducts like those of uh, milk and the rest of them, that, uh, yes, animals do really go okay. to slaughter so house for there that. is nothing. The, uh, say, I totally doesn't uh, support the slaughterhouse and the uh, rest of them. I totally don't support them. You don't support them? No, no, no not totally. Not <coughs> at all. Okay, so, but with the other hand, you're paying for them to exist. Because these industries only exist because of people like you, the consumer. 
Yeah. So <laughs> what I'm trying to find out is, do you think that you can truly be against animal abuse, like like truly by your actions, if see, you're see, still see. paying for horrible this industries is, like the dairy industry? See, there is a totally different perspective uh, and a different different thing. Animal abuse and animal slaughter is totally different thing. Animal slaughter is like you are killing them and again you are producing them. So there is no uh, the number is not totally getting hampered. Are you getting me? I... Wait, wait, what? Um, do you think See, that there's abuse? Abuse is a different thing because uh, uh, if the in no reason you you are going to beat animal or like you are going to cause them harm, then that is what an animal abuse is. And uh, animal slaughter is, I think, it's just a different thing. Do you think that there's an ethical way to kill someone who doesn't want to harm you to die? Yeah, it is not not ethical, not at all. Not at all. Okay, so not at all. because mm. ultimately, you can whether or not you treat them nicely before you rape them or murder them, it, it's always harmful as soon as you pull a knife across their throat. So yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter whether you buy high welfare, if... free range, all all of these animals end up being enslaved and yeah. killed yeah that's what i that's what i told told that earlier like if people people will understand that there is a life that persists in every animal then this is this would certainly going to reduce that's what mm -hmm. yeah so do you think do you think that that um supporting the dairy industry means that you're abusing animals mm, see it's partially true it's partial. It's partially what? true. It's partially true. Ba ba what? Partially, partially. Ba uh, what's that mean? Like, uh, really true. It's partially. Uh, you you just cut out just then. Can you, can you just repeat yourself? Partially. Take the chat. Take the chat. Ah, uh, partially, partially. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, okay, so um. Do you, okay, so what? What's why partially? Why not totally? Why? But, why not partially? Because see, dairy, uh, dairy industry is not totally about those uh, meats and rest of. It's uh, about the milk also, milk and uh, the cheese, butter. But all those cows in the dairy industry, where do you think yeah. those cows go yeah. when their milk production declines? declines then uh, those industries and uh, they try to put a lot lot of pressure like they use steroids and hormones so as to increase their production and it totally uh, pressurizes their body organs because yeah. they can't that that is uh, beyond their control yeah i'm aware i'm aware of that but once they hit about six year um four five six years old and then yeah, the yeah. production goes down yeah. where do you think those cows go yeah that's what i told earlier like when they grow old then they leave them in on the roads like they leave them to starve or else they sell them on the slaughterhouse yeah they, they're they're all yeah, they but, always but, go to but, the slaughterhouse yes yeah 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 so that's do you, that's are this, they all... this not do that that this will not do that if they are like using them for some purpose, then till their last breath, they should take care of them. Okay, okay, okay. But ultimately, all, all the all it's a requirement for dairy cat farmers to yeah. send the cows to be killed, right? Because do you know why mammals produce milk? <clears throat> yeah, to feed their young ones. Yeah, yeah. So uh, these animals aren't just mating naturally. They're being raped by human beings to impregnate them, so mm. um, so they keep breed they keep breeding them and breeding them and breeding them. So they have to keep killing them and killing them and killing them to yeah to to keep them maintain the numbers yeah. yeah to maintain the numbers. So do you think that it's possible to have the dairy industry? Do you think that the dairy industry can be ethical, or is it always cruel? It's not always cruel because it's not 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 totally not totally not, not totally ethical totally. not totally. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So thank um, you, man. That's uh, a, please. Hey, uh, so so yeah. moving away from this conversation, 
Wait, do you have to go soon? Sorry? Do you have to go soon? I, I didn't get I didn't get Please. Wait, do you have to go soon? You, you, you're acting like you were saying yeah, goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, goodbye. Okay, so go, um, moving away from this conversation today, do you think that you're going to continue to abuse animals or do you think you're going to be vegan? Yeah, I would I would totally support if uh, you are going to like run some um like you are going to sign some petition against them or something like that or like on what topic are you working like that's what that's what I'm uh, asking are you going to sign a are you going to sign a petition against them like to stop them or uh, are you going to I'll tell you what the what's the what's the motto what's the motto uh, the pe- the petition is your you which industries you support right because when you see, see I'm 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 an agriculture student I'm an agriculture student mm-hmm. yeah so uh, I'm not a veterinarian uh, I totally okay. I totally deal with the plants their products and how to reproduce them and how to increase their uh, uh, green production that's all okay 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 but ultimately. When you're yeah. buying dairy, you're signing the petition for dairy cows yeah. to be tortured and killed. Um, yeah. Because these, because like we just agreed, these industries only exist because of the consumer. You're signing yeah. the petition and you're giving them the money to support it. Yeah, because <laughs> they, because they, they even play a major role in the country's economy, isn't it? Pardon? They play a major role role in the country's economy. Economy. It plays a role in the country's economy. Yeah. Okay, do you think that morally justifies cruelty? <laughs> um. Do you think that morally justifies what happens in a slaughterhouse? No, it, it doesn't justify because we have to see both the things. We have <laughs> we should manage we should manage both of them. You should manage both of them. Okay. When yeah. we look at an issue of injustice, do you look at it from the point of view of the oppressor or the victim? Sorry? In an issue of injustice, should yeah. you look at it from the victim's point of view or just the uh, oppressor? Vi- yeah, yeah. Uh, initially, we should look into the victim's, uh, victim's point of the view, like, uh, its stage uh, in what stage it is it is and uh, what are the sufferings and uh, then we should totally decide what to do and mm-hmm. so do you think okay so yeah. okay so even I'm if going, you... I'm, I'm going to leave I'm going to leave okay so until you're vegan animals will be tortured and killed because of you so I'm just gonna let that rest on your conscience as you decide what side of history you want to stand on yeah okay uh i'm gonna send you some help to go vegan right because when you when you're ready to align your actions with your morals and stop being an animal abusing hypocrite you know what to do okay okay thank you man you're welcome okay bye 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 well that was an interesting conversation Okay, so yeah, all right. What I was about to say is right. Just because you make money from a horrible industry, raping and murdering animals, that does not make it okay. What the hell? So you care about this more than you care about this? It's horrible. What the hell? All right. And anyway, right. What what else was I gonna say before he said he was about to go? Ah. Uh, Yeah, said. Yeah, said. Um. Yeah, animals are. They're all murdered. You know, they're all murdered. Anyway, ne- next chat, new chat. Do you think that next supporting stop. industries like this means that you're abusing animals? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, do you think that, and do you agree that until you're vegan? animals will be abused and tortured because of you yes okay so do you know what the number one benefit of being vegan is not killing animals 
Yeah, yeah, very, very good guess, very good guess. So obviously for the animals, they're no longer being tortured and killed because of you. Yeah. But for you, the number one benefit is because he said that animal, because he said that you're against animal cruelty. And, yep. and when you go vegan, you stop supporting animal cruelty. So for the first time in your life, you have the opportunity to not be a hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So moving up, moving from this conversation today, do you think you're going to be a vegan or an animal abusing hypocrite? Thanks for watching this episode of the KDA Vision. Leave a like to support the video and type a comment to tell me what you thought of it. Save and share this video around so more people will watch it. Feel more connected to me and my work by following me on social media. Links in the description. Finally, press subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. C D A.